Battle of the Planets. G-Force, fearless young orphans protecting Earth's entire galaxy. Always five, acting as one. Dedicated, inseparable, invincible. Hi guys, we're back for another start of another build. Um, gonna hop back into sci-fi. It's been a while since I've done a sci-fi kit. The last one I did was officially would have been the little little Starship Enterprise here. Wanted to, to go with the uh, the Blue J4 F4 Starfighter that I did. That was last over the fall and winter months. So we're, we're due. Uh, I've done several cars since then. I'm kind of kind of burned out on cars for a short period of time. And what is the? We've got helicopter group builds coming up at the end of the month. Uh, I'll do uh, special videos on those. This is one of the ones we're going to do. This is another one we're going to do. And I also have a Cobra. And uh, Airwolf and Blue Thunder. Um, this one will be done part, as part of the Armed Forces Group build for the United States Marine Corps. Um, this one's a base, straight up police helicopter LAPD, is the markings that comes with it. Um, anyway, that's not what we're doing next. So we're going sci fi for our next build. And I picked up this kit last year at Wonderfest. Um, I found one of the ones that does not come with the light kit, which is kind of what I wanted because the light kit almost doubles the price and it's basically four LEDs and a battery pack and I can I could definitely do that on my own and not have to spend forty dollars for four LEDs and a battery pack. So, but anyway, if you watched the last video you already kind of know what's coming. It is the Gotcha Man God Phoenix or better known in the states as Battle of the Planets and here is our, our kit it's uh, imported by Academy and this is the uh, this is the main ship from again from Battle of the Planets um, the other one is available the the chicken one but I it's I don't like it at all so we didn't get this again this is also available with the lighting kit but I did not buy the lighting kit to go with this because I'm gonna make my own um, that is the the other one the chicken one which I don't like at all it does come with but the four vehicles kind of like Thunderbirds they all sprout out of different places in the uh, in the ship this is basically uh, a Bandai style kit. It does come with the stand with the and the buttons and all that, so you can uh, for the lighting. I say like here, the the nose cone comes off, and that's where the car is at. There's an elevator that drops out of one of the wingtip pods for other uh, wingtip pods for the two more of the vehicles. And then the jet plane actually sits in a hangar. It's here. That's the top tail of the jet is actually part of the Phoenix. So we're probably not going to forego all of those. And uh does come with afterburners that you can light up. And then the, the, the big uh, flaming Falcon Phoenix head for the God Mode, which is really kind of cool. So that's that's our box cover. Well, actually, let's stick it up, upside down. Let's stick it. Let's stick it back here, and we'll look at some of the parts. It's it's very Bandai. So 
So either everything is molded in color, which I'll be repainting everything because, let's face it, plastic looks like plastic. And even if you paint it the exact same color, it looks different than when you paint it. That is kind of a black, a NATO, kind of a NATO black sprue there. And this is our clear orange parts. It's a Phoenix head there. It's about six or seven inches long. That's a, our safety button for the stand for the lighting kit. Um, we've got afterburner parts and parts of the kit that are in, all mortal in this clear, clear orange color for the God mode. Let's see this. When in the in the show, when it turns into the God mode, it's all just a burning phoenix. But they can't. It's kind of hard to do it that way. But anyway, then we got two sprues in this bag: red and the silver. So all this stuff is going to get repainted, even if it's the same color. And then another sprue. This is the part of the stand. Here's the part. The little jet there. Some of the other little wheel landing gear. We're going to build it on the stand, so it's going to have much gear up. Here's the rest of the stand. Vertical lift thrusters. Again, this stuff is molded in a in a gunmetal color. All the wheels and tires, gear doors. And then the last set of sprues are are the blue. This guy I mean there's zero flash on anything. It's like it's like a bandai kit that it's basically snapped together, but I'm I won't glue it. And we're gonna paint everything. So that's all the parts. It does come. Just like Bandai, it comes with stickers and decals. Find them here. The stickers, you just get about a dozen stickers. But if you turn this over, the decals you get big difference in in parts count between stickers and decals. And it's got basically everything in here is in, is in Japanese. There's like one or two cards that. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. This. This is the light kit, which is like $40. It comes with a switch on a circuit board, a couple of terminals for the battery box, an in and out and, and a through, and then uh, basically a wiring harness with, with five LEDs on it, and a little piece of light blocking tape, and some regular electrical tape put together, That's and that's like $40. So we can do better than that. on our own without 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 them uh, I was actually for the like the engine afterburner lights I'll probably use uh, T lights so I can get you get three or four of them for or two for a dollar or there's like six for six for five dollars six for four dollars or something like that at Dollar Tree or their general dollar or Dollar General or any of those town shop dollar store type things. And it's all quick click click and so basically it's designed so that uh, you could take it on and off the stand with the lighting in it. But it went, I'll probably keep it on the stand all the time so that's not a big issue. And uh, yeah, it's just basic. Basic Bandai. You can now let uh, in flight or landed. The wings move up and down. So they got all the hatches and stuff for all the uh, vehicles to come in and out of. But we will do, be doing it doing it in one mode static. So but that, none of that stuff really matters. We may uh, 
make a little tiny stand with the vehicles on it separately to display below it but that would be about it so there's our, our stand how to put together the afterburners the god mode stuff and then the get it to focus here in your little vehicles and the paint and decal scheme so that's that's the kit guys it shouldn't take too long the longest part will probably be uh, picking out what color uh, blue and what and what color the red shouldn't be hard but the blue because the plastic looks a little lighter than it should in my opinion it should be a little bit darker darker blue than what the kit brings so I'll have to find find the blue because it's not as dark as the blue on the box art that's kind of what I'm going to replicate is the the blue on the box art so that's probably be the hardest part is coming up with that figuring out which blue I want to use so that's our our next build the battle, battle of the planets gotcha man God Phoenix and hope you find it interesting and, and decide to follow along on the on the build which we're gonna get started on so as soon as I as soon as I get that the right colors for that the black and the gunmetal and that kind of stuff I've got no problem getting colors and even the red hell I got I can reach right here and, and come up with here's a dark cherry red which might be too dark but I've got bright I've got reds I've got reds out the wazoo so because I've built a lot of cars so. in fact this is they just call it here gloss dark red it's a testers enamel that will probably work I'll actually probably go get a lacquer version of it but so that's basically will be my red color I'll match it to the uh, Excuse me, try to match it to the close to the red on the decals of what I'll, what I'll shoot for so that that uh, blends in. But anyway, I'm, I'm starting to waffle. That will be our next build. Keep an eye out for it coming in the next couple of weeks along with the uh, the Whirly Birds. So it'll be at least three of those. And by the time you see this, the video for that one will probably be up. So. Have a good evening, guys. Have a good weekend. Enjoy your summer. It's coming quick.